I'm originally from Park City, Utah. Uh, I grew up skiing, ski racing, mountain biking, road biking, trail running, running for fun. And then I continued on to Oregon State University where I learned how to row. In 2011, I broke my arm and I thought, okay, well, I guess this is a good time to stop. Um, and so I moved to China because I minored in Mandarin and I thought, seems like the logical thing to do. Um, and in China, I realized that, you know, this is not where I want to be. I'm not done rowing. And so I came back to the U.S. where I started to get my feet back under me, got back in my single, a lot of independent study and uh, a lot of humbling moments. And, um, and that's where I started on the trajectory for 2016. In running, you're doing it alone. And so, it's all on you. But in rowing, you have this other person whose goals and dreams are just as much upon your shoulders as they're upon their own shoulders. And I think that's actually one of the most powerful things about rowing is in the middle of a race, if you can't do it for yourself, you can do it for them. I've been fortunate enough to train with some incredible women who are very, very strong and determined and I've learned something from all of them. And I think that for anybody continuing rowing after high school or post-college, it's really important to be surrounded by people that can teach you something to make you better. And to realize that, you know, someone always has something that they can offer or put on the table. You don't have the fastest erg, maybe you've got something on the water. You don't have the highest you know, power on the water, maybe you have a technical thing that you can bring to the table. So you're, om you're almost only as strong as your weakest link. And for me, I've been fortunate to be with some very, very strong links. I am most looking forward to racing. I mean, this is what we live for. Racing is what, you know, we do this sport for. We put in six hours a day, four hours a day for a seven minute race. And, um, and I am so excited to just sit in the starting blocks and just open it up in the heats and then just build off of that. It's gonna be, I wouldn't say fun, but it's gonna be the most alive that you can be in a moment.